Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 8 of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course. If you guys haven't checked out the previous parts, make sure you guys do. Links will be down in the video description. Also down there will be a link to my Discord server. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions, you guys could leave those down in the server over there. And you could follow me on Instagram as well. Link to that will be in the description. So in the last part, we had finished creating our friends list. I mean technically we just printed out the names so in this part we are going to be adding in the animation for this widget here and we are going to be printing out or rather creating the actual friends widgets so let's begin so just remove whatever you have over here and before we actually do anything I want to create an enumeration so create a new folder and name this one enumeration open it up and head into blueprints enumeration and we'll be calling this one friends list open status open that and add in three members or three list items the first one is going to be closed second one is going to be opening and third one is going to be open now we are going to be using this enumeration to just determine whether our friends list is closed right now so if it is closed and the player presses the button the animation is going to trigger and the friends list is going to move up whereas if it's opening we don't want to trigger anything and if it is already open we are going to close the friends list when you press the button so let's set up the functionality for that so we haven't created the animation yet so select your friends list the whole vertical box which you want to slide add in an animation and call this one open friends list whoops I had done some testing before this so it's causing some issues so open friends I'll just name it like that for now and we'll rather call this one open friends animation now head into your timeline add in a track for friends list and for the track type just add in transform now transform track is going to control the position rotation and the scale of your widget so in this case we want the position to get affected so we need transform add in a keyframe at time equal to 0 and at time equal to 1 add in another keyframe and now under transform set the translation of y all the way up till it's about all the way up need not be really accurate negative 490 seems to be good and this is pretty much our animation you could increase the frame rate of course if you want the animation to be smoother so this looks smooth now let's set up the playback and before we do that just create a new variable and call this one friends list open state and the type is going to be friends list open status now by default it's closed and that's exactly what we want now control drag this and we want to do a switch here so when we click on our open friends list button if the friends list is closed we want to open it so now under animation drag this in and play forward so it's going to play the animation in the forward direction then if the friends list is in fact open we want to play this animation in reverse so reverse and rather play animation in reverse so reverse so play animation reverse all right just to keep things neat I'm gonna just drag this here and there is an event here on animation finished we want to check we want to switch uh, rather now we want to check if the friends list was in fact opening or closing so if the friends list is already open you want to set this one to closing which we will add we haven't added the list item yet and over here we want to set this one to opening so we want to add in a new one and we'll call this one closing 
closing save that and over here we want to set that to closing compile that and over here as well if we are in fact closing we want to set the friends list open state to closed so just copy this over so if it is in fact closing and the animation is finished we want to set it to closed and if it is closed and the animation is finished we want to set the state to open now by default it is going to be closed so let's actually test it out just a small logical error here this shouldn't be on closed this should be on opening and now if we click on this it should technically open the friends list and if we click on it again it should technically close the friends list now head back into your main menu and let's set up our friends list refreshing function so create a custom event and call this one refresh friends list and as in the last video we had created the function get friends and for the flags we are just going to make an array and it's going to be only immediate friends and we are going to loop through this so add in a for each loop so select friends list scroll and set that to is variable now drag it in and we want to clear children all right so this will ensure that our previous list is in fact cleared now what you want to do on for each loop is you want to create a widget over here through which we can actually see our friends so we haven't created that yet so right click create a new widget blueprint and we are going to be calling this one bp underscore lobby friend or we could just call it friend we could reuse it anywhere else now set the size to custom and let the width be a bit more let's say around 350 or let's actually see the size we had here so the width for this is going to be 370.932 so let's set that to a value which we can more easily write down so 350 would be fine copy that over and close friends list we don't need the enum anymore now I want to set up a menu such that we actually invite a friend when we click on it so that we get a drop down to invite a friend so the way we are actually going to be doing that is by making this whole widget a button so remove the canvas panel we don't need that add in a button that's going to cover up our entire space and for the background color you could set this to something dark of course you could have whatever you please to here and now add in an image or rather we need a horizontal box first of all and this is going to fill up the whole thing with zero padding first up is going to be an image and it is going to be center line and not fill actually set that to auto and for the size set that to 64 by 64 so that it is square now we could increase the size a little bit here the size of the whole widget actually so say this is about 75 so this looks a bit better and towards the left as well so since our image is of size 64 so I feel like we should keep the size of an even number so set that to 76 so the image height is going to be 64 and we are going to be having 12 pixels combined up as well as down for the gap so it's going to be six pixels each so towards the left as well we'll leave a gap of six so that's done now this is going to be our avatar so the way we'll be doing this is we'll create a new variable and when we construct it we can drag it in rename this one to avatar and let the button be as is now we also want a text block so that we can actually invite our friends or something so set a padding of 10 it seems a bit reasonable and set the alignment to center now you could change the font if you wish uh, I'm going to select regular for this and let's say the size is about 20 don't want it to be too big maybe even 18 is fine and this one 
is again going to be set as a variable and make sure you do the same for the image which it's already and this one is going to be player name or rather I'll just type in name underscore text box now drag this as well as the image and we want to set brush from texture just to set the avatar and the texture is going to be a variable and since we actually have uh, an avatar variable which we need so we'll name that to avatar underscore image now the variable which we promoted here this one is going to be called avatar and grab in the text box now could you could delete event tick and stuff we don't need those set the text and we want to create a new string variable and call it one name and it's going to be of type string compile that and we want to grab this in and convert that to text one more thing that you would want to do is make this instance editable and expose on spawn do the same for the avatar as well now that we're done with that head back into the main menu and over here in the for loop we want to create a widget of type friend and we could get the values for name as well as avatar from here select the friends list scroll and click on add child now technically we should be having the friends list but we just need one more thing we still want to be able to get the steam id from here so create a new variable and call this one steam id this is so that we can actually invite our friend that's the only purpose of doing it and if you refresh or we need to make this instance editable and expose it on spawn and if we refresh here so go to file refresh all nodes compile that again and then drag in steam id it should technically work now it's good if we refresh it every time we open the friends list so when the friends list is closed we want to call refresh friends list as well and copy it over and when we create the widget as well we want to just refresh the friends list so that we get access to the friends as soon as we open the game so drag that in to event construct and we should be good to go now this is just uh, a temporary solution we'll be handling the mouse cursor and stuff a bit later as you can see we find all our friends here so this is exactly what we wanted and the scroll box works as expected and when you click on them it is a button right now it does not do anything but we will be adding invite functionality now one thing that i do want you guys to do is head into blueprints and in the function library that we created i want to do a small modification so you see it's kind of pointless to get the friends who are offline so you want to drag off of this get friend by index and you want to get the persona state and the target is going to be steam friends of course and you want to switch on this enumeration and connect this to the loop body and we want to add it to the friends list array only if he is actually available to play now so if he's offline we don't want to do anything if he's online or if he is away if he is looking to play or is there anything else maybe even busy maybe even snooze just make sure it's not online even looking to trade that's pretty much it so if it's any one of these so you want to add it to the friends list array so we won't get a bunch of friends who are just offline and if i open my friends list you see there are a lot less friends because these are the only ones who are online or in a game now head back inside your get friends function and just another thing that i do want to add on the return node just two other parameters which are both integers the first one is going to be friend count or rather we'll call this one total friend count and the next one is going to be online friend count now you could of course adjust the parameters depending on what you want but in our case the length of this is going to be 
the online friend count and the last index of this so one thing that we can do is when this is completed so we could promote this to a variable so promote to a local variable and we can call this one friend count total and this is going to be set on a loop complete we want to set it to the index plus one and drag off of this into the return node and we want to just drag that right in there all right now just a small modification again in the friends list functions which we had in the main menu now we could set the text here so every time we call refresh we could perform this function before we actually execute this loop we can set the text over here so make this one is variable and just call this one friend counter text of course uh, you could name it according to your convenience drag it in and we want to set the text want to format text friends online and in the parentheses we want to add in a parameter and name this one friends online divided by open your curly braces again total friends close the brackets here and we have two wildcard pins the total friend count is going to be total friends and the friends online is going to be online friend count and this technically should in theory work all right it does seem to be working all right guys so that's it for this video thanks for watching if you guys did find it informative make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos goodbye